So I wanted to make this video for my dad because he doesn't really know that much about computers. But, but I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a really bright guy and knows way more than me about other stuff like... Um, So the backbone of the computer is really the motherboard, which connects all the other pieces of hardware together and allows them to communicate with each other. One of the essential components is the processor, which does most of the calculations and executes the commands that you give a program or operating system. Now, you might be wondering, how does a computer process such complicated information that I'm inputting on the screen? And the reality is that your inputs aren't registered as complex actions, because computers obviously can't interpret that, but instead your inputs are compiled by the computer and turned into bleeps and bloops. Okay, so as far as storage goes, you can get a regular hard disk drive on the cheap, but really should be strongly considering a solid state drive. They aren't that much more expensive, and you'll save a good 45 seconds on boot time if your computer is off for some reason. Now, you might be wondering what size of hard drive to get, and the best way to check is to figure out your net worth plus the limit on your credit card, then divide by the average cost per terabyte of all the games on Steam. Moving on from the hard drive, we have RAM, and the RAM itself is really just temporary memory that's much faster to access than your hard drive. The reason it's capitalized is because it's supposed to be yelled, and if you're wondering how much to get, just remember that RAM is like a girl. 4 jiggly bits is all you need, and 8 is definitely enough. So one of the most important parts of the computer is the video or graphics card. The video card is often the bottleneck for a lot of applications, so it's in fact not too uncommon to be running two or even three of them at the same time for better performance. This setup is called SLI for NVIDIA and Crossfire for AMD, so in regular use you would say for example that three NVIDIA cards is three-way SLI, two NVIDIA cards is two-way SLI, and a single NVIDIA card is being a filthy casual. As for the power supply, you have a number of choices. Uh, I'm personally into getting the best performance possible, so I use nuclear. The whole setup runs pretty hot, so I set up a ventilation grill on the top of the tower so I can cook hot dogs if I get hungry. As far as peripherals are concerned, you just need a good wired mouse and any keyboard you want as long as it's mechanical and lights up. As for monitors, just sit comfortably in your desk chair and mark four points on the edge of your peripheral vision and then just fill that area with screens. And now that you finally finished your setup, uh, all your components are obsolete.